Hello everyone, this is Brian with Amusement Source Media and we have actually taken an adventure all the way to Farmingdale, New York here at Adventureland. So this is a Long Island park that opened in the early 1960s. They recently celebrated their 60th anniversary and this place is home to three roller coasters and a lot of other family friendly rides. We're excited to give you a full tour. Now they are currently in the middle of a $10 million upgrade. So we'll try to talk a little bit about that. Not my home park, but I think we've got a gist on it. And uh, it's an interesting little park. It's on just under 30 acres. Things are really crammed in here. And this was kind of a creation of what was going on in the 60s when Long Island, New York was expanding and becoming more ha uh, inhabited by folks. So a uh, fun little classic theme park. And uh, we did get our wristband, we've already paid. It was about between 30 and, or I should say 40 and $50. So definitely not a cheap one, but it is kind of a one price, gets you everything. So without any further ado, let's check out Adventureland. You can see it's basically like an L-shaped park. So where we're at is right at the main entrance. If you go to the left, you run into the all-new Moon Chaser, which is a Hoos top spin. They've also got antique cards over there, cars over there. And then if you go down the main stretch, that is where you run into most of your attractions. As we come down this little left pathway, you run into the uh, blue Adventureland Bull. If anybody knows what the uh, backstory behind this is I'd love to know in the comments you also run into like a little recharging station which I read somewhere was the old train station so you can uh, you know charge your stuff hang out in the shade even though it's not very hot here and then right in front of us here is a big old Eiffel Tower thing pretty fun next up we run into Moon Chaser which is the park's newest ride just opened this year. This is a hoose top spin. It also makes all of the noises of a hoose top spin as well. It is even equipped with a fountain, which is wild to see because this is definitely uh, one of, an older school one. Oh man, there they go. Oh, it's gonna make me so sick. Ooh, it's gonna flip them. Oh my goodness. No, thank you. So right next to the Moon Chaser, you'll see these construction fences and they're actually building something for 2025 back here that uh, is part of their $10 million expansion. This is going to be a custom built ride from Switzerland. It looks really interesting. As we move over from that construction area, you run into the antique cars, which are exactly what they sound like. And they actually have one kind of hanging out up here. Drive yourself around on the antique car. And it looks like there's all kinds of stuff to look at back there as well. But you can see the station right there people loading up on those antique cars you've definitely got to watch out when you're riding these antique cars because uh, holy smokes there's a cat over here wrapped back around towards the front entrance just to give you an idea of food prices here they do have souvenir cups and uh, we're gonna wait for that screen to flip back over but all of your standard kind of theme park fare can be found here got pretzels churros cotton candy buckets funnel cakes it's still cheaper than a six flags park though which is wild you can get a 16 ounce soda for 449 that's pretty fair As we make our way down, you run into the Rattlesnake, which is a Tivoli family coaster. Try to get you a better look. 
but uh, you must be 36 inches tall to ride or 48 inches to ride alone. Quite a popular ride here, for sure. Next up is this uh, pretty crazy hanging dark ride called the Mystery Mansion. I've never been on anything like that. That is for sure. Oh, here we go. Whoa. Oh my, oh my goodness. Oh. I don't know if we're getting out of here alive. <laughs> oh, holy smokes. Ah. Oh, all right, we're going up. Here we go. Going up the lift hill. Spooky pictures, spooky picture people. I don't like that. Freak show. Holy moly. Oh, jeez. Whoa, 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 whoa. The zombies are, oh! Whoa. What is that? Oh. Whoa. 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 I don't know if I can keep going. Oh, we're going outside. Are you scared? What the? Look at this. Look at this big old furry spider oh my gosh big old skull oh we're going back in what's that guy doing he's just looking at us I'm not gonna let our eyes adjust we're just gonna get attacked by these spiders oh we're going back down I think we're close to the end Whoa. Going back down. Whoa. Whoa. Up next we have another, well I should say probably really the first kind of bigger roller coaster we've run into. This is Turbulence. And this is a mock spinning coaster. You see, it's got that beefy mock track. And as you go through the course, you do spin around. All right, folks, just got off of turbulence. It was very turbulent. My stomach is very turbulent now. Lots of fun, really smooth. But if your weight distribution is a little lopsided, you're going for a big spin. I mean, we really spun. I am, whoo, I have to sit, sit it out for a few minutes. All right, right next to the Mystery Mansion and across from turbulence, you have the Lighthouse Drop Tower. Just like a family friendly drop tower. You can see them loading up there. And then as we go beyond that, you run into your uh, first kind of big 
Midway Games area. And then it looks like down the way we've got a Frisbee. Uh, next we've got the Frisbee, which you can see is just spinning along. And yeah, this is a Hoos Frisbee. So one of the more classic versions, but if you uh, don't like spinning, you won't like this. 48 inch height requirement for this guy here. And then as we spin around this way, you run into the uh, Midway Marketplace and Tony's Tavern where you can get some alcoholic beverages. And they have moose dots, so I think they're just dipping dots with a, a moose theme, <laughs> but yeah, pretty fun. Oh, look at that. We've got a Music Express over here, very fun. So next to that Dippin' Dot stand, you've got the train station. This is where you board the train. Very big pavilion here. And you see this mascot all around, but I don't know anything about him. It looks like this is what tells you about him. Alfie Adventureland, the memories you create with your children will be your greatest legacy. Adventureland is honored to help create those family memories. Very nice. Right across from the statue is the Music Express that we saw earlier. It's a 48 inch height requirement here. I love how this thing is themed. This is definitely a more old school Music Express than uh, you'll see. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. I'm sure that uh, this spins forwards and then it spins backwards and goes really fast and will make you dizzy. Oh yeah, there it goes. You can hear the screams of either dismay or happiness. I don't know which one it is. Right next to the Music Express is Alfie's Rescue Boats. This thing looks crazy. I don't think I've ever actually seen one of these in person, but you basically, see this is a splash zone. You gotta be careful over here, but basically you get on this like airboat type of thing and it flings around beyond that i'm not really sure what it does let's look all right so what i'm wondering is do you strategically have to steer yourself so that you don't get blasted by this water that's coming down from under the bridge man you feel like you got to do lots of scheming on this thing this is a pretty crazy ride because you, you like stand up to control it Okay, I see what's going on. You gotta, you gotta like fling yourself outward to stay away from that little waterfall there. So is that the only way you get wet? I don't see any kind of cannon or anything. It looks like the, wa the ride does slosh water into the uh, viewing area here. So if you like really whip it, I feel like you're, oh yeah, you can see her crazy you don't see a lot of these really cool unique ride oh yeah they're kind of they're whipping the water all around and you can see on the uh the floor here yeah it <laughs> definitely comes over here next to the rescue boats you have the little dipper you can see the height requirements there but it is like a mini log ride so you go up that hill back there and splash around you probably don't get too wet Oh, uh, maybe, maybe you do. <laughs> maybe you do. Yeah, mom looks like she's uh, not having it. <laughs> kind of hit the center point of this main thoroughfare. You've got this little fun play area called Pirate Island. And it looks like first aid is over here and some bumper cars are back there. You've also got this kitty pirate ship over here as well. Let's go check out the bumper cars. As we continue on, you run into the merry-go-round, which is a double-decker. Really cool looking carousel here. Oh man, the upstairs is closed. That's a bummer. They do have some pretty cool stuff down on the lower level. They've got like a rocking kind of seating area they've got like a little spinning one that's cool kind of hidden behind the carousel you've got this very fantastic looking castle some flags 
And then here, completely shaded, is this like caterpillar ride. Only for the little folks. Looks like the little caterpillar goes around this little track here and you can see gnomes and mushrooms and this fantastic castle. So they have these little planters that look like roller coaster ride vehicles and they have what I what I am assuming are like donors and supporters, those who have helped raise and donate money for Adventureland. These are really cool. All right, we were over there checking out the carousel. You've got the sports tower here, which is like this kind of like a Samba tower, but much more beefy and taller. And uh, I really appreciate the frog bog game over here that has the, uh, the spinning frog on it. Nice little touch. Next to the sports tower is the large arcade room. And it looks like they have a display for their new for 2025 ride. So we'll go give that a look. I'm gonna try to work with the uh, window glare here a little bit, but they have the model of the new ride. It's almost like a crazy disco type of ride, but it's got two ride vehicles and it looks like it's custom made to fit into their little corner that they've carved out for it called Wave Twister. You can see it in action on the screen there. Lots of spinning for sure. It's gonna be a uh, pretty intense ride, especially when you hit like the, the turns and you're spinning, oh my goodness. So the arcade is definitely like your old school arcade with all the games. Got some air conditioning in here, of course, if it's a warmer day. And if you book a birthday party, it looks like this is where your uh, like reserved seating area is. Here in the arcade, I've uh, definitely never seen one of these crazy like Skittles remix machines where you can like pick your own Skittles. Wild. The world is advancing as we know it. I just noticed that the uh, train ride actually cuts through this little covered area just outside of the arcade. That's a tight squeeze, folks. This is definitely a mascot that I connect with more, the Adventureland Hot Dog Man. Does he have a name? I wanna know, does he have a name? He's uh, he's getting his hair ready with some ketchup though, and uh, I can get down with that, I guess. As we come into the home stretch, you run into a lot more children's rides, like the Alfie Express, You've got the Viking Voyage over there, and you've got a helicopter ride, all for the little kids. There's the Viking Voyage. Looks like you might get a little spritzed on that bad boy. Not sure. Right next to these helicopters, you've got a car ride called New York City. So. I guess this is where the little kids come to uh, get ready for adulthood around here. And it would be just my luck that the park's newest roller coaster, Fireball, and probably the most unique, ridiculous looking ride here is closed today. So, looks like we're, <laughs> looks like we're not getting this one in. It's a bummer. Big old bummer, but what are you gonna do, you know? That's just how things go. So we're right at the very back corner of the park, of course, there's Fireball, you got Viking Voyage, and then you have the mini teacups right here, followed by the Ferris wheel swing and the wave swing. not gonna lie I've never seen a mac and cheese box plush as a prize but I'm slightly intrigued 
<laughs> I don't know. Last but not least, you run into Alfie's Surf Shack, which is another child-friendly ride, and it's accompanied by this massive pink elephant. Not gonna lie, this thing's kind of uh, it kind of really gets going. Alfie Surf Shack. Oh, we're going the other way. Can't just go one way. Gotta go both ways. All right, everyone, that does it for this look at Adventureland here in Farmingdale, New York on Long Island. This place is really fun. It's definitely family gear, but they do have a few high thrill rides here. Now, the one thing I will say, I came here, you know, as an adult, no family or nothing like that. And I was able to knock out everything I wanted to do in under two hours. So that's something that you have to keep in mind when you're here. Uh, it's not gonna be an all day thing, but it is a very nice park. If y'all have any questions about Adventureland, let us know in the comments below. We thank y'all for watching. Take care. We'll see you soon on our next theme park adventure.